What a God we have to worship. What a son we have to praise. And what a future lies before us. Every Sunday, another succession of earth-shaking revelations. Not only for individuals, but for the world at large. It's astonishing. It's accurate. It's prophetic. Just what the Bible says. Prophecy never had its origin in the will of man. But holy men spoke the message of God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. We watch it happen live and direct in the Synagogue Church of All Nations every Sunday. Now stay tuned as we bring to you yet another prophecy confirmation. Don't go anywhere. God is still saying something. Emmanuel, God is still saying something. My name is Angela reporting for Emmanuel TV. On Sunday, the 14th of June, 2009, during the live Sunday service on Emmanuel TV, the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, gave a prophetic revelation concerning a local airline in the nation of Nigeria. Let us hear what he said. I want you to lift up your voice and pray. This prayer for the whole world. We have different country here. Pick on your nation. Pray for your country. Ask God to redeem your nation, your land. Redeem your land. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. I want you to now pray. This has to do with Nigeria. Let us pray for our local airline here. I'm seeing one of the flights there that is a bit faulty that should not be used for now. God should show them after our prayer, show them that ah, this fly needs service. It should not fly for now. That God should open their eyes of understanding to see the flight, that this flight needs service. Open your lips and pray. God should open the eyes of their faith. That God should open the eyes of their faith to see clear that this airline, this plane, this aircraft needs service. That it should not be managed. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to Him for answering our prayer. In Jesus Christ's name. In a subsequent Sunday, during the first live service on the 2nd of August, 2009, at approximately 11.30 a.m., Prophet T.B. Joshua spoke about the revelation he had received and gave an urgent call to prayer. Let us listen to the message he gave. Please open the book of Psalm 71 and take your reading from verse 3. Psalm 71 from verse 3. Be my rock of refuge to which I can always go. Give the command to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O oh my God, from the hands of the wicked, from the grasp of evil and cruel men. Thank you, Lord. There is a message concerning this. Our prayer is going to change this situation because I'm seeing something that carried a lot of people and later they begin to look for it 
But the Lord said this thing will not move. Something will happen that will delay the thing. Just two and a half hours after the second prophetic message was given, incredibly, a plane from a local Nigerian airline was delayed before takeoff, and an imminent crash was averted, just as Prophet T.B. Joshua said would happen. This is how the events unfolded. this breaking news for you. Vigilant airport officials have successfully averted an air crash at the Enugu airport in southeast Nigeria. A capital air flight from the coal city to the Nigerian capital Abuja was aborted shortly before takeoff when airport officials noticed unusual flames at the rear of the plane. But the law said this thing will not move. Something will happen that will delay the thing. Airport officials noticed unusual flames at the rear of the plane. The passengers were immediately evacuated through the emergency doors to the departure lounge. One of the passengers told AIT that there was a stampede by the panic-stricken passengers. 28 passengers were on board the beach aircraft when it took off at 1.30 p.m. Nigerian time. Two passengers who were injured in the stampede were rushed to an hospital where they were treated and discharged. No official comment has been issued by the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, FAAN, or the management of the airline on the incident. An air crash has been averted at the Akanu Ibiam International Airport in Enugu, southeast of Nigeria. Reports say the engine of an aircraft operated by a private airline caught fire a few, minutes before, a few minutes before it was due to take off. Firefighters mounted frantic efforts to put the blaze out. An eyewitness said two persons are receiving treatment at the hospital for severe burns. The plane was heading for the Nnamdi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja. There were over 30 passengers on board at the time of the incident www.thisdayonline.com the 3rd of August 2009 disaster averted in Enugu as aircraft catches fire 28 passengers on board an Embraer 120 aircraft owned by Capital Airlines a local Nigerian airline escaped death as the aircraft caught fire at the Akanu Ibiam International Airport in Enugu, Nigeria, as it was preparing to take off. The pilot made use of the fire extinguisher in the cockpit to put out the fire at the exhaust of the aircraft before he aborted the flight. I want you to now pray. This has to do with Nigeria. Let us pray for our local airline here. I'm seeing one of the flights there that is a bit faulty, that should not be used for now. God should show them, after our prayer, show them that, ah, this flight needs service. It should not fly for now. press statement signed by the managing director of the airline, Mr. Amos Akpan, the flight was scheduled for Abuja by 1 p.m. and was cleared for takeoff. Recall that the prophecy was spoken at approximately 11.30 a.m. Nigerian time, an hour and a half before this flight was scheduled for takeoff. When the pilot started the engine, the ground staff immediately signaled to the pilot to shut down the engine when they noticed an unusual amount of smoke from the exhaust of the right engine. God should show them, after our prayer, show them that ah, this flight needs service. 
It should not fly for now. Quote, Thank God that it was still on the ground and everybody was evacuated safely, the Director General said. That God should open the eyes of their faith to see clear that this airline, this plane, this aircraft needs service. That it should not be managed. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to him for answering our prayer. In Jesus Christ's name www.vanguardngr.com, 3rd of August, 2009. Abuja-bound passengers, crew, escape fire in plane. A quick response by fire service personnel at the Akanu Ibm Airport in Nugu yesterday averted what could have resulted to a major air disaster in Nugu as an Embraer 120 aircraft with 20 passengers on board caught fire shortly before takeoff. The turboprop aircraft, marked 5N-BLN, was taxiing for takeoff at 2.05 p.m. when a thick smoke was noticed from the right wing of the plane. Because I'm seeing something that carried a lot of people, and later they begin to look for it. But the law said this thing will not move. Something will happen that will delay the thing. All Africa website. Lagos. Another calamity was averted on Sunday when a capital airline aircraft bound for Abuja narrowly escaped crash at the Akanu Ibium Airport in Enugu. The law said this thing will not move. Something will happen that will delay the thing. Capital Airline was established in 2003 to carry out domestic and charter flights with Lagos as its base. It has a fleet of three aircraft comprising Embraer 120 and operates to Lagos, Abuja, Iloran, and Mina. I want you to now pray, this has to do with Nigeria. Let us pray for our local airline here. I'm seeing one of the flights there that is a bit faulty, that should not be used for now. The following day, Monday the 3rd of August 2009, many national Nigerian newspapers carried the story of how an imminent air disaster was averted by a local airline, just as Prophet TB Joshua had prophesied. Nigerian Compass, Monday, August 3rd, 2009. Anyoku's brother, Uba's aide, others escaped death in Enugu. Eight injured. Capital airline flight cancelled. But for Providence, some Nigerians would have died in a plane crash at the Akanu Ibium Airport in Enugu yesterday. Our prayer is going to change the dissertation. Because I'm seeing something that carried a lot of people. And later they begin to look for it. But the law said this thing will not move. Something will happen that will delay the thing. 
shortly before takeoff at about 2 p.m. Thick smoke from one of the engines of an Embraer 120 aircraft belonging to Capital Airline covered the plane. The 30-seater plane was on its way to Abuja. Men of the fire service at the airport rose to the occasion and were able to put off what would have been an inferno at the airport. Please open the book of Psalm 71 and take your reading from verse 3. Psalm 71 from verse 3. Be my rock of refuge, to which I can always go. Give the command to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O oh my God, from the hands of the wicked, from the grasp of evil and cruel men. This prophecy was spoken live during the first Sunday service in the Synagogue Church of All Nations on the 2nd of August, 2009. And remarkably, as that first service was ending, news broke that the prophecy had been fulfilled. It was during the second service that Prophet T.B. Joshua informed the congregation of the events that had occurred and had this to say concerning the revelation God had given him. Remember in the morning, I was telling you that you should pray, that I'm saying something, carry people, and I say, what we are saying here will stop everything. <laughs> because I see people were burdened when I was here. And God said to me, look, this is what is going to happen. And immediately I was praying, and I asked the members to pray. Faith sees the invisible, believes the impossible, and receives the incredible. By faith, Prophet T.B. Joshua saw the events that were to occur moments before they happened. By faith, he called the congregation and viewers worldwide to pray, and the prayer changed the situation. Our prayer is going to change the dissertation because I'm seeing something that carried a lot of people and later they begin to look for it. But the Lord said this thing will not move. Something will happen that will delay the thing. Just as Deuteronomy 18.22 says, if a prophet speaks and it comes to pass, know that he is from God and his message is from above. We thank God for revealing these events to his servant, Prophet T.B. Joshua, and for the call to pray. God indeed has answered the prayer of his people. As the psalmist prayed in Psalm 71 verse 3, the psalm indicated by the prophet, Be my rock of refuge, to which I can always go. Give the command to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. I want you to lift up your voice and pray. This prayer for the whole world. We have different country here. Pick on your nation, pray for your country. Ask God to redeem your nation, your land. Redeem your land. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. I want you to now pray. This has to do with Nigeria. Let us pray for our local airline here. I'm seeing one of the flights there that is a bit faulty, that should not be used for now. God should show them, after our prayer, show them that ah, this flight needs service. It should not fly for now. 
that God should open their eyes of understanding to see the flight that this flight need service. Open your lips and pray. God should open the eyes of their faith. That God should open the eyes of their faith to see clear that this airline, this plane, this aircraft needs service. That it should not be managed. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to Him for answering our prayer. In Jesus Christ's name. Please open the book of Psalm 71 and take your reading from verse 3. Psalm 71 from verse 3. Be my rock of refuge, to which I can always go. Give the command to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O oh my God, from the hands of the wicked from the graphs of evil and cruel men. Thank you, Lord. There is a message concerning this. Our prayer is going to change the dissertation. Because I'm seeing something that carried a lot of people. And later they begin to look for it. But the Lord said this thing will not move. Something will happen that will delay the thing. To witness the power of prophecy firsthand on a personal, local, and international level, join us every Sunday for our live service on Emmanuel TV at 9 a.m. West Africa time, 10 a.m. Central Africa time, 3 p.m. Indochina time, 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard time, 12 a.m. Pacific time, and 3 a.m. USA Eastern Standard Time. Keep watching Emmanuel TV, and remember always, God is still saying something.